An extraordinary discovery has just shaken the world of volcanology. In the Japanese archipelago, more precisely on the remote island of Iwo Jima, located 777 miles, 250 kilometers, south of Tokyo, an impressive geological event has captured the attention of scientists worldwide. This small triangular island of only 5 miles, 8 kilometers, in length by 2.8 miles, 4.5 kilometers, in width, carries in its history not only scars from World War II, but also fascinating volcanic secrets that continue to reveal themselves to this day. Iwo Jima, whose name means Sulphur Island in Japanese, sits strategically above an underwater caldera 5.6 miles, 9 kilometers, in diameter in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. This unique geological formation has been responsible for a surprising phenomenon. The island grows continuously for centuries, rising on average 10 inches, 25 centimeters, per year. To dimension this constant elevation, ancient coastal marks from the 17th century today are found 131 feet, 40 meters, above the current sea level, evidencing the transformative power of geological forces. The history of this volcanic island dates back to millions of years of intense geological activity. But it was during World War II that it gained worldwide notoriety. The famous photograph of American soldiers planting the United States flag at the highest point of the island, 525 feet, 160 meters, above sea level, became a historic symbol. However, beyond its historical value, Iwo Jima has always maintained its active volcanic nature, with constant fumaroles and signs of underground unrest. What happened on the first day of September this year, at 7.14 p.m. local time, exceeded all volcanologists' expectations. A spectacular explosion broke the apparent tranquility of the island, creating a new eruption point that no one had predicted with such intensity. The sound of the explosion echoed for miles, while a column of incandescent material rose majestically toward the sky. But what exactly caused this spectacular eruption? Why did a new crater form precisely at this moment? And more importantly, what does this mean for the future of this historic island and for the safety of the region? At the exact moment of the eruption, witnesses reported a scene that seemed straight out of a science fiction movie. The new crater, named by Japanese scientists as Shidor Rama, literally tore through the island's coast, expelling a violent mixture of volcanic ash, pea-sized pieces of incandescent rock known as lapilli, and enormous semi-solid volcanic bombs that were hurled dozens of feet high. The most impressive aspect was the explosive interaction between the superheated magma and the salty Pacific waters, creating a Frito magmatic eruption of spectacular proportions. To understand the magnitude of this event, imagine what happens when you pour cold water into boiling oil in your kitchen. The reaction is instantaneous and violent. In the case of Iwo Jima, magma at over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, 1000 degrees Celsius, met the ocean waters causing instant vaporization that generated an explosion of tremendous force. This type of eruption is particularly dangerous because it combines the thermal energy of magma with the explosive expansion of water vapor, creating a spectacle that is both beautiful and terrifying. During the first moments of the eruption, pumice fragments began to form due to the sudden cooling of magma and seawater. These extremely porous volcanic rocks have a unique characteristic. They float on water like small natural rafts. Shortly after the initial explosion, large whitish patches of pumice were spotted drifting around the island, some forming true floating rafts that extended for hundreds of square meters. The most intriguing aspect of this eruption was the formation of vapor plumes with distinct colorations. The clearer and whitish clouds indicated the massive presence of water vapor, while the more grayish tones revealed the suspension of volcanic ash particles in the air. This visual differentiation allowed volcanologists to understand in real time the dynamics of the eruption and the proportion between magma water interaction and direct expulsion of rocky material. But here arises a fascinating question that intrigues any scientist. How did Japanese researchers manage to predict that something extraordinary was about to happen? Are there signs that anticipate these spectacular eruptions? Or does nature still guard secrets capable of surprising even the most experienced volcanologists? The answer to this question reveals the fascinating side of modern volcanological science. Weeks before the spectacular eruption, seismographs installed on Iwo Jima began detecting small tremors that indicated magma movement in the depths. The island's crust began to deform subtly but measurably, signaling that enormous pressures were accumulating in underground magmatic reservoirs. 
This deformation, imperceptible to the human eye, was captured by precision instruments that continuously monitor any alteration in surface geometry. The existing fumaroles on the island gradually intensified their activity, releasing growing quantities of volcanic gases, especially sulfur dioxide. This gas, which has a characteristic rotten egg odor, functions as a true messenger from the depths, escaping even before magma can reach the surface. Gases always precede the main eruption, providing valuable clues about what is to come. The behavior of magma inside Iwo Jima can be compared to that of a pressurized soda bottle. Just as carbon dioxide remains dissolved in the drink while pressure is maintained, volcanic gases remain mixed with molten magma in the depths. When pressure decreases at certain points in the system, these gases begin to separate and seek pathways to the surface, exactly like the bubbles that form when we open a soda bottle. The specific composition of Iwo Jima's magma, rich in alkaline elements and with tracheandesitic and trachytic characteristics, makes eruptions particularly explosive when they come into contact with water. This type of lava has a viscosity that facilitates pressure accumulation, creating perfect conditions for violent explosions. The island's location above an underwater caldera, 5.6 miles, 9 kilometers in diameter, adds another crucial element. There exists a vast network of underground channels through which magma can find alternative pathways to emerge. What no one expected was that magma would find a completely new route to reach the surface, creating the Shidorama Crater in an area where there had never before existed a volcanic opening. But could this new crater represent only the beginning of something much larger? And what are the true risks that a Frito magmatic eruption like this can represent for those who venture into the waters around Iwo Jima? The reality about the dangers of a Frito magmatic eruption is much more frightening than most people imagine. Unlike continental volcanoes that offer more predictable signs, coastal volcanoes like Iwo Jima can generate sudden and devastating explosions without adequate prior warning. While many countries ignore nature's signs until it's too late, Japan shows us the importance of maintaining constant vigilance and respect for the geological forces that shape our planet. Iwo Jima's new crater is not just a geological phenomenon, it's a powerful reminder that we live on a dynamic planet where fire and water dance eternally in a spectacle that is both beautiful and dangerous. If this content has sparked your curiosity about the mysteries of volcanoes, subscribe to the channel to follow more fascinating discoveries about the forces that continue shaping our world.